Welcome to EU Tweets of the Week. Brexit talks are underway, rule of law goes astray, but Belgian fries are here to stay. Serious Brexit talks got underway this week, but unfortunately David Davis bowed out after only half a day, as illustrated by Burley Monster. So reaching sufficient progress by October looks even more unrealistic. Suzanne Morgan asked how can Brexit be a success without political leadership and a country divided 52-48, but the big question is where are the UK's notes? Michel van Hulten said perhaps they didn't bring any to avoid them being photographed by the paparazzi. Seamus Conboy was more inventive. Of course Davis didn't come to the negotiations without any notes. That would be ridiculous. Matt Zarb Cousin thought he was more David Brent than David Davis, and the Times cartoon summed up the atmosphere. Elsewhere, democracy and rule of law are under threat in Turkey and Poland. The jailing of activists is a crushing blow for rights in Turkey, said Amnesty International. The Committee to Protect Journalists described Turkey as the world's largest prison for journalists, and Germany said Turkey's detention of rights activists could threaten EU aid. Meanwhile, in Poland, Commissioner Vera Jourova said there is a systemic threat to the rule of law. And Franz Timmermans said that given the latest developments, we are getting very close to triggering Article 7. As Alex Alaphilippe pointed out, when a government starts hunting journalists, you know you're on the wrong path. Finally, it's Belgium National Day, and the breakthrough news is that the EU has saved Belgian fries. It's official, la frite c'est chic. Belgian fries are an intangible cultural heritage of Belgium. This week, we are supported by Cosmetics Europe. Find out more about essentials for daily life by following them at Cosmetics EUR. And join me again next week for our final show before the summer break. And do send in your highlights, lowlights and insights using the hashtag EUTweets.